Hello and welcome to this course with me, Rory from Harpy Production, and today I'm here with Sonic Academy giving you a full course on Sound Toys 5. So if you've watched the first two videos, the introduction and overview, and then going on to the common features, you should be pretty familiar with the interfaces and basically what it is that we're working with. So just to recap, it is sort of an all-inclusive effects processing bundle of 20 plugins, which is available to download from their website. So another cool feature within this bundle that I want to talk about briefly is the effect rack that comes within the bundle as well. This is basically an option to allow you to put all the plugins into one plugin on your channel strip rather than adding loads of multiple plugins on top of it. So I've got an instance of it loaded up on our audio channel here. So if I open that up. So you can see it looks very familiar with the rest of the plugins. So we've got this common wooden frame around it if you like and then at the top here we've got sort of our global controls so we've got our tap tempo or we can have it synced to our DAW so if that's at 106.9 our project is at 106.9 as well now I'm not quite sure why it's actually gone to that tempo I think it's because I dragged in an apple loop and they don't tend to be sort of nice whole numbers which is unfortunate but we're going to go with it then we have our input and output. So again, like I mentioned in the previous video, that's a common feature within a lot of the plug plugins. Rather than having just the mix from dry to wet, we do have the option to increase the input and increase the output. Then we obviously have the mix button there as well, and we've got this recycle button, which basically will then feed back the a lot of the signal back on itself to try and blend in a little bit further. Then we've got size, basically of how big you want the the windows to be which is, again is a really handy feature we've got an auto which is then going to basically determine our screen size and then it will automatically pick a size for it so again that's really handy then we've got show gear so we can then click and drag all our individual plugins onto our main window so our rack if you like hence the term effect rack so it's as simple as dragging and dropping there's not an awful lot to be explained about this plugin. It is relatively straightforward. So if I click one here, drag it over, it puts it in like that. Now, the really powerful way that we can use this is obviously creating purely 100% customizable effects processing units, if you like. And because it's all bundled within one plugin, it's actually going to help save your CPU power a lot. So if there's any of you out there that work in perhaps from laptops, this is the tool for you especially if you're going to be using multiple instances of these individual plugins, I highly recommend using this as opposed to just using basically individual ones on your audio track. And a great feature of this is that we have presets as well. So like I mentioned in the previous video, if we click in this red LED looking type interface, it's going to drop down and give us basically a load of presets, which again is really, really handy. So the other benefit of this, those presets are going to be using all these plugins. So if you don't necessarily have the time to flick through all the presets and check them out on individual plugins, you can, but then again, you want to hear what they sound like together. Again, this particular feature, the effect rack, is definitely going to help you. So for instance, let's go on delays, ambient echoes, something like that. Well, that's probably not the best one, because that's just picking one. So let's go on modulation, liquid vibe. Oh, that's not one a good one either. Oh, God. Let's try and pick a decent one that's going to... Put a few in there. Sound design. Let's go on this one. There we go. So it seems to be that they're typically just on sound design, a lot of these, where it's got multiple instances of the individual plugins, which is great. We got there in the end. So as you can see here, we've got Devil Lock, we've got Primal Tap, and Decapitator. So what I'm going to do is just bypass this, and I'm going to play the little loop that we've got in the background, which is just a short guitar riff. It's just come from the Apple loops, just to give you a demonstration. So here we go. And then with it on. So you can hear that they're all working, which is great. And then not only that, but you can save your presets. So the ability to actually find your unique sound using all of these plugins, the possibilities are pretty much endless with this. So developing your custom sound is going to be key and it's going to be the forefront of what you're doing. So that's been a short video on the effect rack. If you move on to the next video, I will be 
basically talking about the crystallizer plugin as part of this Sound Toys 5 course. So I've been Rory from Hyper Production. You've been watching Sonic Academy, so stay tuned for more. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.